What's up Chucks and welcome back to another video and today as I have a title and that obvious thumbnail, today's video is shockingly not Chucky related. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on and reviewing Megan. Hi, it's Alex Vincent you're watching Chucky Fan 101 with Isaiah, Isaiah himself. Thanks guys, you heard it here first. That's right, a lot of you may find this shocking, but like I said, we're gonna be reviewing Megan. I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on it, and honestly, I really loved it. Uh, the movie is an overall fun time, and okay, I'll give all my thoughts at the end of the video, so keep watching. I thought now would be the perfect time for me to review the movie because not only have I seen it at least five times by now, but also today marks a month since it released, and I did watch it for the first time on the A's two days later, so I've had more than enough time to really take it all in and gather all my thoughts, and needless to say, I loved it. Also, a lot of you guys have really been wanting me to talk about Megan since they first announced it in 2020. But I've been so hesitant because this is a Chucky-only channel, but for Megan, I will make an exception. Because I love the movie so much, I have to talk about it. But this is the only time I make an exception for another doll other than Chucky. Megan is the only exception. Anyways, now without further ado, let's dive into this review. Yeah, that rhymed. Megan is a movie that came out January 6th of this year that follows a little girl named Katie who unfortunately loses her parents in a car accident, where she is then taken in to live with her Aunt Gemma, who is a robotics engineer who works at a toy company called Funky. In attempts to cheer up her niece Katie, who is still grieving from the tragic and traumatic loss of her parents, and in attempts to rival the competitor of Funky, the toy company she works for, Gemma invents a Model 3 generative android named Megan. Oh, and that's in case you guys were curious where Megan got her name from. It's an abbreviation of what she is, a Model 3 generative android. Anyways, like I was saying, Gemma invents a Model 3 generative android named Megan, with her niece Katie receiving the honor of being the first to test her out, making Katie Megan's primary user, meaning that Megan belongs to Katie and only Katie. It's insane, right? Gemma then signs Megan the mission to protect her niece Katie from harm both physical and emotional, after mistakenly forgetting to program her with parental controls and safety restrictions causing Megan to completely lash out and kill anybody who she deems is a threat to Katie. All right, so right off the bat, judging by the plot of the movie alone, I was instantly hooked because there's just something that's just so creepy and unsettling about a movie showing AI taking over or AI acting up and turning against humans, because that's something that could very much happen in real life with AI constantly progressing day by day. So a horror movie that's based off of something that can actually happen just makes it even more scarier. And the way this movie does that is just perfect. This movie is overall a fun time and it's the perfect balance of horror and comedy. The acting is really good and I've really got to compliment Jenna Davis on how much of an amazing, phenomenal job she does voicing Megan. If you watch the movie, you'll notice that Megan speaks in different tones depending on who she's talking to. She speaks in like lighter, more softer tones when she's speaking to Katie. Katie, flush the toilet. Wash your hands. Roll up your sleeves. Great job. But when she's speaking to adults like Gemma and any other character in the movie that's not Katie, she speaks in a more serious, deeper tone. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? And the way Gemma balances that out is just perfect. And they couldn't have gotten anybody better to voice Megan. In my opinion, unless you're scared of the idea of AI taking over, do not go into this movie expecting to be scared. This movie is just an overall fun time. It's a fun horror movie. It's a horror movie that you will have fun watching. And also, if you may look for bloody and gory kills in horror movies, then this movie is not for you. Or at least this version of the movie isn't. Because in case you guys didn't know, Megan was originally supposed to have an R rating, but a couple of days before the movie released, they cut a bunch of stuff out and got it down to a PG-13 rating. That way they could expand the amount of people that could watch it in theaters. To me, it's a smart business decision because not only are they allow more people to watch it in theaters, but also there have been talks of them possibly releasing an R-rated version for the DVD and Blu-ray release. There they'll make even more money from the people who want to buy the movie again just to watch what we were missing out on in the theatrical release. And to those of you who still think that that's not a good idea even after hearing all of that, they're obviously doing something right because the movie has made triple what they aimed for it to make. Because may I remind you, the movie was made on a $12 million budget and from what I heard, their projected box office was around 30 to 40 million. And guess how much they ended up making in the long run? Of course, when Megan's still playing in theaters, the movie is still generating revenue as we speak, but at this moment in time, the movie has currently grossed over $150 million worldwide. Almost $160 million. That is like triple the amount that they predicted and quadruple the amount that they put into it. 
So with all our success, one would think that it would be a good idea to immediately greenlight a sequel, right? So those of you who answered yes, you are 100% correct because immediately after they realized how good the movie was doing, which was about a week or two after its release, they immediately greenlit and announced that we're getting a sequel to Megan titled Megan 2.0 that is set to release January 17th, 2025. And hearing all this is just absolute music to my ears because I loved this movie and I'm so happy to see it thriving. We need more killer dolls in cinema nowadays. I mean, technically Megan is not a doll, she's an android, but she's an android doll for kids. So technically I would count her as a doll, just not a regular one, android doll. You basically get it, I still count her as a doll. And the point still stands that we need more killer dolls in cinema. So I'm glad Megan has joined the lineup alongside the blueprint over here, Chucky. And I am so glad that she is starring because she 100% deserves all the positive feedback that she's been getting on the movie. Trust me, I can go on forever about how much I love this movie and how much I learned by watching the behind the scenes for the movie, but I'm gonna save all of that for my upcoming Megan breakdown. That's right, just like how I would break down an episode for the Chucky TV series, I'm gonna be breaking down the entirety of the Megan movie. And I'm just so excited to make that video because there's so much about this movie that I wanna talk about because I've been obsessed with Megan ever since the movie came out. And needless to say, I want a Megan replica now. I mean, I wouldn't mind having an actual Android Megan, but that would cost a lot of money. So till then, I will settle for a replica. When I say I have been obsessed with Megan, I am not joking. Like seriously, you know you're obsessed when you're just walking around doing this dance for no reason. Either way, I'm just gonna leave it at this and save the rest of my Megan breakdown. I loved it. Now, I'm not sure if this is an unpopular opinion, so I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with me when I say this, but personally, I think that Megan is better than Child's Play 2019. I can name multiple reasons why I share that opinion, but that is a video for another day. Let me know down in the comments section below if you'd like to see that. So in case you're watching this video and you haven't watched the movie yet, I hope I've persuaded you to want to watch it. And if you do want to watch it, it's still currently in theaters as we speak, and it's also available digitally in case you want to watch it in the comfort of your own home. I will try to put as many links in the description below as I can to purchase the movie at home in case you want to watch it yourself. I highly recommend it. I've already purchased it on YouTube myself. I cannot stop watching it. Definitely one of my best YouTube purchases. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram at Check Phone one and follow me on Facebook, I check your fan, that's IKE Check your fan. And there's a text on the screen, now all these in the description box below, including all the possible links that I can fit down there in case you want to stream Mega in the comfort of your own home. Goodbye, and as always, have a chuggified day, or in this case, have a megafied day.